Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad, coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. A general strike is being observed to protest at Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit of occupied Kashmir. All Kashmiri freedom struggle leaders are being detained to quell protests. Pakistan's foreign office said that India's panic is evident from repressive measures on Modi's visit. Leaving for the UK to attend the Kashmir conference, Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said that Kashmir is a cornerstone of Pakistan's foreign policy. Next up, Kabul has said that the planned talks in Moscow will not help the Afghan peace process. Afghanistan Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokesman Sibgatullah Ahmadi said Russia should respect an Afghan-led and Afghan-owned peace process. Meanwhile, the Central African Republic has sealed a peace deal with 14 armed groups after first ever direct talks to end the years-long conflict. In a tweet, African Union's Commissioner Smail Chegui said the agreement will enable the people to embark on a path of reconciliation and development. According to the UN, over one million people have been uprooted since inter-religious violence started between Muslims and Christians in 2013. Moving on, thousands of yellow vest protesters have clashed with police in Paris for the 12th straight weekend of demonstrations against President Emmanuel Macron. Police fired tear gas and used water cannons to disperse protesters who threw firecrackers at the police and set vehicles on fire. And a Venezuelan Air Force general has defected from President Nicolas Maduro's government, announcing support for protests. This comes amid mass protests in Venezuela's capital, Caracas, as supporters of Maduro and opposition leader Juan Guaido face off in the streets.